In a time and place, before there was time and space, God just existed. He was all there was. He filled everything. God is love, but there was no one to love. He wanted to just simply share his existence. In order to do this, he would have to deny himself of being everything and share his existence with others. God created a large planet that we now refer to as heaven. He surrounded it with stars and galaxies. He created creatures called angels to help him administer the systems and planets he had created. God is love and he now had creatures to love. The Father created all things through Christ. God can only accept the service of love, which must be voluntarily given. Satan perverted his freedom. He was perfect until he sinned. Sin is simply refusing to do what God wants. Lucifer desired himself to be exalted above his appointed position. He endeavored to secure the angel's service and loyalty to himself instead of God. Satan was warned of the consequences of rebellion. God gave a clear presentation of his will. God declared that Christ, being uncreated and the creator of all things, was above all created things. Satan was clothed with wisdom and glory above all others. Satan coveted Christ's position. He left his position next to the Father to accomplish his own will instead of God's. Satan reasoned that angels could not err and needed no law. If he could be exalted to his proper position, he would secure freedom from law for all. He said that the law needed changing for the stability of the government. While stirring up discontent, he pretended to be trying to promote loyalty, harmony, and peace. The discord he had caused, he blamed on the divine administration. God bore long with Lucifer. Satan did not at first see where he was drifting. When he did become convinced he was wrong, pride forbade acknowledging it. Satan must now decide loyalty by repentance or open rebellion. Because God was so long-suffering, Satan said they could prevail if they just held to their rebellion. Satan claimed that the loyal angels were just deluded slaves, having to do what God wanted instead of whatever they wanted themselves. Satan hoped to win all angels, become equal with God himself, and be obeyed by all. Some wanted to repent, but Satan said it was too late. God allowed sin to develop so that it could be seen for what it really was. Lucifer had at first so conducted his temptations that he himself stood uncommitted. The angels whom he could not bring fully to his side, he accused of indifference to the interests of heavenly beings. The very work which he himself was doing, he charged upon the loyal angels. It was his policy to perplex with subtle arguments concerning the purposes of God. Everything that was simple he shrouded in mystery, and by artful perversion cast doubt upon the plainest statements of Jehovah. His high position, so closely connected with the divine government, gave greater force to his misrepresentations. God had a design to make a new creature, man, in his own image that he could specially relate to. Satan was angry that he was not consulted in its design. Satan, even though cast out of heaven, was not to be destroyed until all could see what he really was. God will accomplish his will in the long run.